Draw your line. Instead of making the whole little T-box thing, the T-square, you can just do just draw your line straight down from where the arrow is. Okay? Then write down whatever atoms that you find, whatever elements you find. Make a list. And then, how many do you find on each side? So how many H's do we have to the left of the arrow? Two. Two? How many O's do we have? Two. Two. How many H's do we have to the right? Two. Two. O's. One. One. Good. Now, the, par the part that's messed up is what? The O's. You're going to have to call out loud. You're on the microphone. The O's are messed up, so I need to match these two. One times what equals two? Two. Parentheses two. That means multiply, right? If I put it down there, I've got to put it up here. I cannot put it in the middle of anything. That's why I've got that blank there to remind me. Just like that, right? So if I put that two there, does that mean it just goes for the O? No, it also goes for the H. Come down, two. Am I balanced? Huh? No, why not? Yeah, I got, there you go, because my H's don't match anymore. So how do I make this side match this side? Good. Put a parentheses two. If I put it there, got to put up here in front of this H. Okay, now. Yep, is it balanced? Let's see, we got four here, four here. We got two here, two here. So everything's right, huh? Okay, I got two things became one. So which one is that? Synthesis. So we put an S right there. Next one, number two. Bigger numbers, right? Must make, must be harder. No. It doesn't matter how big those numbers are. Let's see. We're going to write down what we have. We have a P. We have an O. The P has how many? One. O. Two. How many on this side? Four. Ten. Okay. So, how do we get a match? The trick is this. There is no number beside this P, right? Therefore, anything I put in front of it is how many there are. True? Okay. So we work on the O because it has a number. That means it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Two times what equals ten? Five. So I put a five here. Put a five here. Is that the only thing I'd change on that part? On the O's? Yeah? Okay. So now... I found out I don't have to do anything to this side here at all, looks like. Because how many P's do I have here? Four. four. All i got to do is put four, right? So that's going to have to be there. Do I have to put anything in that blank? Nope. And then I got two things became one, so what is that one? Good. So we're just making a list. I've got a BA. I've got a CL. I've got an H. I've got an S, and I've got an O. And run down the list. How many BAs do I got on the left? One. One. Two. 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 One. Four. Four. Okay. On the right? One. One. One over there. How many? One. One. Got one, four. four. Okay. So it's, these right here is what's wrong, right? So how do I change them? Well, it's pretty easy, right? When I change either one of these, because they're, they're, they're a group, right? Either one of these I change, it's going to make that change automatically. So I do a two and a two. Boom, that's changed, right? Okay, now what do I do? Oh, hey, how about that? That's done. 